The Wowza Streaming Cloud service is one of the easiest ways to deliver professional grade live streaming video to a global audience of any size. In this video, we'll delve a little deeper into its advanced streaming settings, allowing you to fine tune your live stream. When logged into your Wowza Streaming Cloud account, under advanced in the main menu, you'll find these six functions. We'll be focusing on transcoders, stream targets, and schedules. Transcoders allow you to push your live stream across a wide variety of devices and networks. By default, when you add a new live stream, a transcoder is automatically set up with a pass-through stream and four different resolutions. From the Output and Targets tab, you can modify these adaptive bitrate renditions. Click Add Output to create your own custom output, or use the pull-down menu to pick a preset resolution. Try 720p to get comfortable with adding renditions. Stream targets enable you to syndicate your live streams across multiple destinations. This could be your own website, Facebook Live, and direct playback URLs for mobile viewing. We generally recommend adding stream targets by going to transcoders and selecting the transcoder for the stream target. From the Output and Targets tab, locate the adaptive bitrate rendition you want to add an additional stream target to. Now if you're adding Facebook as a stream target, it's usually best to add it to a pass-through stream so the output will automatically be adjusted to meet Facebook's streaming requirements. The pass-through stream is the first rendition listed. Click Add a Stream Target, select Facebook Live, and follow the on-screen directions for connecting with Facebook and adding a stream target. Schedules let you start and stop transcoders at a specific time without having to go in and manually do so. Just click Add and get started. While a schedule name isn't required, it does help simplify management. You must complete all the required information which is appended with an asterisk. You can schedule a transcoder to repeat or set it to run only once. When you've completed the required information, click Add and you're set. Schedules come with an idle timeout option located under the specific transcoder you've scheduled. Under the Transcoder Setup tab, you can edit the amount of time to idle. With this option in place, your transcoder will automatically stop if no incoming stream source is detected after the specified time. That's it for Wowza Streaming Cloud's top three advanced settings. Check out our help docs to learn more, and thanks for watching.